Well, there is a look at the latest on radars. We have some heavy rain closing in on Atlanta, a line of heavy storms pushing now into eastern Tennessee. All of this closing in on our area a little bit later on tonight. And you can see again, Atlanta really going to get blasted with a complex of thunderstorms uh, that's going to pack some gusty wind. Uh, city of Atlanta already seeing some light rain. And then all of that is going to slide its way our direction in the next hour and a half to two hours. So after midnight is when you're going to be to start hearing those rumbles of thunder, having rain, especially if you're in our northeast Georgia spots, Anderson, Clemson, and then that line will be making its way toward us. So here's a look at the next 12 hours. We've got a good chance of thunderstorms after midnight and on through the early morning. But notice 6 a.m. turns to just a few showers, and by 8 a.m. we get full sunshine. It's going to get gusty outside, though, uh, but at least for that early morning commute and for getting to school, I uh, guess go, kids going to the bus stop. This should be out of here. So another look at that timeline. 11 to 2 a.m. for our far western locations right in the middle of our area. Greenville, Spartanburg, toward Hendersonville and Anderson midnight to 5 a.m. and could last up to 6 a.m. for spots like Gaffney down toward Newberry. So let's get a brand new update. We're looking at some of our high resolution data. So we just keep getting new updates with this as the system gets closer. This is midnight. We're starting to get a little heavy rain out of this batch from Atlanta. The line still located in eastern Tennessee. And then all of this kind of converging by around 2 a.m as we'll have the threat for uh, some locally strong wind, gust, uh, uh, frequent lightning, and even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. Small hail, even a possibility. Really all the threats at play into the late night hours. And then we get toward 4 a.m. Much of the 85 corridor will begin to clear out, but we'll still have this batch of heavy rain, and that's going to continue on toward the Charlotte area so that by 6 a.m., will be looking mostly clear. It does turn windy through the day, so, the, so it's not going to be a calm Wednesday, but the storms will be done. We've got a couple of gusty days ahead Wednesday, Thursday, as cooler air arrives, and then it's going to settle down toward the weekend. In fact, weekend looks absolutely gorgeous. We just got to get through tonight uh, as we have that first alert for those storms through about 6 a.m., and then we'll start to clear out by late on Wednesday, or excuse me, not late Wednesday, late, by late tonight, early Wednesday morning, and then through the day Wednesday, just some gusty wind and sunshine. More of that wind on Thursday, and then into this weekend, just downright gorgeous. It's just not going to be as warm as it was uh, the past couple of weekends. Mid-30s overnight, and then highs in the 60s Saturday and Sunday, back into the 70s next week. In the mountains, we could have some freezing temperatures for, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night and upstate frost will be possible. Now be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. Scan the code, get the app for free, and that way we can send you updates through the overnight as that rain closes in. If you wake up at 2 or 3 in the morning, it's a great thing to check in on because we'll be posting fresh videos to the app all night long. We're not going anywhere, so while you may be sleeping, we will keep you posted, and of course you can get those life-saving weather alerts sent straight to your phone as well.